Hello everyone. Today we will learn about metal oxide semiconductor when it is applied in through external bias. That means when we apply the voltage from its base and gate terminals, how it will behave. So here we can see this is metal oxide semiconductor. So it has gate, it has base, which is P-type semiconductor, P-type substrate, you can say, which will be having holes as a majority charge carrier. And this is this will act as dielectric. And this is metal oxide. So, when base is 0 volt, and gate gate is applied with uh, negative potential then what will happen we will learn about that next we will learn about when gate voltage is applied with small positive potential suppose gate voltage is greater than 0 and it is less than 0.7 or 1 volt then what will happen we will see the next we'll talk about when gate voltage is greater than 1 volt, 2 volt, 3 volt, like that. Suppose gate voltage is greater than 3 volt, 4 volt, when logic is high in the gate and uh, base is directly connected to ground. So, in these cases, what will happen, we will try to understand. So, let's first take this when gate voltage is less than 0 volt. So we can see that base is 0 and gate voltage is less than 0 volt. So what will happen? So current will flow from this side VB to VG. Conventionally what we take? Convention is like suppose this is positive this is negative okay so direction of the current is this and direction of electron is this so current direction we take negative to the direction of electron so in this case how it the circuit will look like This is negative potential upside. This is positive potential. Because this is 0 volt. 0 volt is this. And this is less than 0 volt. This is negative. And now you see voltage will flow. Voltage is positive and this is negative. So current will current direction will be what? From greater voltage to less voltage this is the current direction and electric field generated is eox eox is electric field this is oxide layer this which which will act as dielectric so p type semiconductor has majority charge carrier has holes so holes will be accumulated in this area because this dielectric and this metal oxide dielectric produces insulation layer from metal oxide and p-type semiconductor so these holes cannot go to this dielectric area and it will accumulate here that creates positive charge density in this region when vg is less than zero now what will happen in this region positive charge carrier will increase that means electrons are not there that means Fermi label Fermi label across this area will decrease from intrinsic Fermi label intrinsic Fermi label is EI here 
and when the when we will move towards oxide and semiconductor junction this is oxide and semiconductor junction the fermi layer of this will decrease because of positive holes accumulation here positive charge carrier accumulation here the fermi level level will decrease so now opposite to this whenever here negative charge carrier is accumulated then this fermi level will increase so it will so it is it is shown here so let's remove this now now we will talk about in this case the applied voltage is greater than 0 volt that means this is positive and this is negative now electric field is generated eux downwards and in this case depletion result will be formed what will and this will repel the positive charge carrier present in this region positive charge carrier of p type semiconductor will be repelled inside in this figure we can understand like positive charge carriers are repelled downwards that means this region will be depletion region and this is shown in through this fermi diagram in this case also the fermi level will decrease now suppose this vg is very much higher than zero volt then what will happen all the electrons sorry all the positive charge present in this region will be repelled it will be repelled back in this area and when the positive charge is repelled in this area negative electrons will be accumulated that means the charge inversion takes place now this area becomes n type semiconductor and this is p type semiconductor because of negative charge carrier majority of negative charge here this area becomes n type semiconductor and this phenomena is called charge inversion inside depletion region now it will start conducting the current and fermi level will decrease further as it is shown in this figure so in the next lecture we will learn about how this MOS structure will be useful as a switch or how this MOS structure can be used as a switch. So thank you for, for watching the video. If you like the video please give thumbs up and if you have any doubt comment down the below. I will try to answer those. Thank you.